Hey guys, Rusty K here from Rusty K's Rad Rods Garage. Just wanted to give you guys a quick bench update, let you know what's going on with the 59 El Camino and a 39 wagon rod um, that I'm working on. Um, also, you can see here in the foreground the uh, 50, 1950 Chevy Buddy build that I'm doing with Todd H. Um, Todd's a little bit ahead of me. Um, I got some pieces I still need to paint and put on. Um, he's got these uh, painted and assembled onto the chassis. I still need to do that. So uh, we're making some progress. Uh, a lot more than we did last time, huh, Todd H? Uh, we started this a couple years back and put them away and just brought them out recently. So we're, we are actually making progress on that. But the 39 wagon rod's coming along nicely. I, I can almost see uh, the light at the end of the tunnel here. Um, I went ahead and got the bare metal foil on here and I uh, repolished it and put the decals on. So you can see um, how that's coming along. So uh, the paint job came out nice again. I just repolished it. I'll probably polish it again and you know once it's all done. But got the decals on, got the bare metal foil on. Things are progressing nicely with that. Um, I also repolished the hood and got the bare metal foil on the hood as well. So if you see it mopped up here also, I did the deck pans um, and the underneath here. I don't know if I showed you that last time. So, you know, when you see it mocked up here, you can get an idea of where we're going with this. If you saw Hunter Selby's series on this, this is what I'm sort of following along with here. So um, there it is with the lower body and I reshot, I reshot the paint on the lower body. I had some areas when I did the deck pan, I had a little bit of overspray. I needed to reshoot the lower body anyway, so I took care of that. I also put some uh, the accent panel liner into the grill. So you can see it's a little bit, you know, better detail. And so that's pretty much on the home stretch. Um, the interior needs to be, it's all painted, all done, ready, just needs to be assembled really. Um, so yeah, so remember the, the chassis and the engine, just an update on that. It's just sort of sitting there waiting. So everything's coming along nicely on that. We should be in the home stretch here soon. So on the 59 El Camino, um, I've got the engine bay painted up. I've got the battery in there, the radiator. Um, the radiator has the, um, the model toll pens and the um, battery I just did red with some black, you know, I'll probably go put some uh, satin finish on that a little bit just to give it a little bit of sheen. And I've got the interior um, done. I used the same paint on the interior that I did in the lower body of the wagon rod. I really like the Racing White by Tamiya. Um, let's see if I can give you guys a shot of the paint. It's the Tamiya Racing White. I love the paint and I had it extra, so I decided to do the interior and the dashboard in that color. And then I did the top of the dash um, in the uh, body color, and the steering wheel in the body color. Did a little bit of um, model toe pen in there as well. So you can see an idea of what I'm doing with the interior. Not a lot of fancy stuff in the interior. I may go do some, I don't know, maybe some dry brush on the back of the seats here. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with that. Um, so that's coming along. The engine, of course, is still ready to go. Um, so actually, that one is is actually almost in the home stretch too because there's not a lot left to do. I am debating on whether to put this window in or the white. So you can sort of see, and I'll show you here. Yeah, I glued the um, firewall in here too. So here it is with the, with the tinted And then, of course, with the white, or with the clear, I should say. So, I don't know. Probably just go with the clear. I don't know. I mean, the red gives it something different. You can see the firewall in there, too. I've got that detailed up. So, this is coming along nice. Oh, you know, I can almost say this is in the home stretch, too, because, like I said, as far as the directions go, oh, I did get the... Um, the wheels done on this as well. Um, I need to go in and put some panel, um, accent panel line in there um, on the wheels. I think I'll do that after this uh, after this video. Um, so I think that's everything of where I'm at. 
Uh, these two builds, I really, sh I'm saying maybe a week, and both of those should be done. Um, and then I can put some more focus on the um, the Todd H. Buddy build. Other than that, I hope you guys are having a great start to the week, and we will talk to you guys soon. Thanks.